These 100 teenagers have been sent to Earth sometime after a nuclear apocalypse killed all life on the planet to check if it is safe for humans to return now, but they are about to learn that they are not alone here. In a flashback, a young Bellamy Blake helps his mother give birth to his sister in secret, because it is illegal to have more than one baby on the Ark where humanity is surviving until the Earth becomes habitable again. Bellamy's mother tells him that his sister is his responsibility now. She asks him to name her, and he chooses the name Octavia. In the present, Bellamy looks for Octavia all over the camp on Earth and doesn't find her. He enlists Clark's help. Octavia, who was last seen being kidnapped by a ground native or grounder, awakens in a dark cave. She has a terrible wound in her leg. The grounder arrives with a heated metal rod, and he points it at Octavia, while she screams in horror. Bellamy gathers a group of people to find Octavia. He requests the help of Finn, because he is a skilled tracker. Jasper also joins the search party. Finn speaks to Clark, and they discuss their affair, which Finn's girlfriend Raven has no idea about. Clark tells him to forget about it, but he replies that he's not sure he can. A meteor shower is seen in the sky, but Raven and Clark inform the group that this is not a meteor shower. These are the ashes of the people who have been sacrificed on the Ark to make more oxygen for the rest of the population. This means that the flares they sent up to inform the Ark that the Earth is survivable did not work. They all get mad at Bellamy because he broke the only radio that could have been used to contact the Ark directly. Clark says that the parts they need to fix the radio might be found in the old bunker that she and Finn discovered earlier. Raven and Clark decide to go to the bunker, while the search party heads out to look for Octavia. Meanwhile, Octavia wakes up and realizes that her wound has been cauterized, which means that the grounder was not looking to harm her with the heated metal rod. He cauterized the wound. She gets up and starts finding her way out of the cave. On the other hand, the search party finds footprints and Octavia's shoe and follows the trail to a place where they find lots of human skeletons hanging. Most people get scared and go back to camp, but Finn, Jasper, Bellamy, and a few others continue the search. In a flashback, it is revealed that Bellamy's mother gave sexual favors to the captain of the Ark Guard to keep Octavius' existence a secret and to get Bellamy a place in the Guard. Bellamy was not happy with this arrangement, but he put up with it for his sister's sake. In the present, the search party is walking through the jungle when one boy is quietly picked up by the grounders. The rest of the group suddenly realizes that he is gone and gets worried. Suddenly the boy falls down and they notice that his throat has been slit. Panicking, they all start looking around and realize that they are surrounded by grounders. They make a run for it. During the chase, they keep running into traps as one boy gets impaled on a tree branch and a girl gets hit by a spear. Finn, Bellamy and Jasper are the only survivors. Meanwhile, Octavia, who escaped the cave, sees all this happening. She tries to call for help, but she is grabbed by the same grounder who kidnapped her. He covers her mouth so she can't make a noise and takes her away. Clark and Raven find a remote control car in the bunker which has a radio antenna that can be used to fix the radio from Raven's landing pod. Raven also finds a model deer that Finn made for Clark, and she starts getting suspicious of the nature of their relationship because Finn only made models like this for her before. In a flashback, Bellamy, who is now a cadet in the Ark Guard, tells Octavia that he has an opportunity to take Octavia out of their room, something she hasn't done and has wanted to do her whole life. There will be a dance, where everyone will be wearing masks, so she can blend in, and since Bellamy will be working security, he can watch over her. Octavia is overjoyed that she will finally get to see the world outside her little room, she nervously steps outside and is blown away when she sees a view of the Earth and the Moon for the first time. She heads into the dance and has the best time of her life. In the present, the grounder carries Octavia back to the cave, and Octavia thanks him for cauterizing her wound and saving her life. However, he doesn't seem to understand her language. She is taken by surprise when this time he locks her in the cave with chains. The search party members find themselves surrounded by grounders once more, but just then, a horn sounds in the distance, and the grounders retreat. In the flashback, guardsmen arrive at the dance party due to a solar flare warning, and Octavia and Bellamy get caught by a senior guard named Lieutenant Shunway. 
Bellamy begs him to let them maintain their secret, but Shunwei refuses. In the present, Bellamy spots a lone grounder running through the woods and decides that they are going to catch him and make him tell them where Octavia is. Meanwhile, Raven confronts Clark regarding the little model that Finn made for her and asks if the two had an affair. Clark admits to the affair, but tells Raven that she didn't even know that Raven existed and that when they made love, they were under the impression that they would never hear from anyone on the Ark ever again. The Grounder arrives back in the cave, and Octavia knocks him out and uses his key to free herself. Just then, Bellamy and the gang arrive to rescue Octavia, having followed the Grounder to the cave. In a flashback, Shunwei meets Bellamy long after his mother has been given the death sentence for having more than one kid, and Octavia has been locked up. Shunwei offers him a place on the pod, taking Octavia and 99 other prisoners to Earth, and in return, he asks Bellamy to assassinate Chancellor Jaha. In the present, Bellamy wants to kill the Grander, but Octavia says that the Grounder didn't harm her, and stops Bellamy. Finn notices that the Grounder is carrying a horn, just like the one that was sounded when the other Grounders retreated. Just then, the Grounder wakes up and stabs Finn in self-defense. Jasper knocks the Grounder out. The gang brings Bellamy back to the camp and asks Clark, the only one with medical experience, to look at him. Clark checks his pulse and says that he is still alive, but she can't operate on him by herself. She needs her mother's advice, who is an actual doctor. She tells Raven to fix that radio as fast as possible so they can talk to Abby, Clark's mother on the Ark. Bellamy gets mad at Octavia for defending the grounder in the cave and says that it's her fault Finn is in this state. Octavia gets mad and says that all of this is his fault because he took her to that stupid dance all those years ago. Meanwhile, a massive storm is seen arriving toward the camp. On the Ark, Abby is summoned in front of the council. Due to her reckless actions in the past, such as informing the common people about the plan to kill a portion of the population to make more oxygen for the rest, Abby is stripped of her seat on the council. Abby says to Jaha that they need to talk about the flares that the two of them saw coming from Earth. But Jaha and Kane dismiss her saying that the flares could have been anything, ranging from lightning to radiation emission of some kind. They do not prove that someone is alive on Earth. However, just then, Raven manages to establish radio contact with the Ark, and Abby is proven right. Clark speaks with Abby, Jaha, and Kane, and tells them all about what's been going on since they landed on the Earth. Jaha asks if his son Wells is still alive, and is devastated when Clark reveals that he died. Clark tells Abby that Finn has been stabbed, and they need to figure out a way to help him. Abby and her medical team decide to walk her through the procedure. Meanwhile, Bellamy and a few others return with the Grounder who is knocked out and tied up. Bellamy hints that he is going to torture the Grounder for information because they need to know what they are up against. Octavia objects to this, saying that the Grounder helped her and that he means them no harm. However, Bellamy ignores her plea, and this makes her more upset. Clark also objects to torturing the Grounder, but she is too occupied with Finn to fight Bellamy on this. On the Ark, Jaha is visited by a woman named Diana, who was Chancellor before Jaha. Diana is the leader of the common workers on the Ark, and she warns Jaha that rumors are spreading that Jaha ordered the killing of people to make more oxygen when they didn't really need to do that, because the Earth was survivable. Jaha, who remembers Diana as an old foe, realizes that she may be the one perpetuating these rumors. However, Diana assures him that she's just here to warn him. She notices on Jaha's computer that he is starting Project Exodus, which is the mission of returning humanity to the ground. She warns him that he has some difficult decisions ahead of him. Back on the ground, Abby talks Clark through the procedure of removing the knife, but she is worried, because if Clark is even millimeters off in her approach, she could rupture Finn's aorta, which would result in fatal blood loss. To make matters worse, the storm outside is continuously shaking the entire structure around them. Finally, Clark starts removing the knife, but Finn wakes up as she does. Raven holds him down as he tries not to move from the pain. With one last pull that occurs simultaneously as the structure around them shakes, Clark miraculously manages to take the knife out without rupturing anything. Finn is saved. 
Bellamy is interrogating the grounder, but he doesn't speak English, so he doesn't provide any answers. He goes through the grounder's things and finds a bunch of vials filled with different liquids. Next, he finds a journal in which the grounder has made some drawings. One of the drawings is of Octavia, and another one is of their camp, which means that the grounder has been watching them for some time now. Clark arrives and gets mad at Bellamy for his violent interrogating techniques, but Bellamy shows her the journal and says that they are at war. Clark tries to argue that they are not soldiers, but just then, Finn starts seizing, and Clark has to attend to him. She tries to contact Abby again, but the storm is interfering with the radio. After a while, Finn stops seizing, but he starts drooling a strange fluid, and Clark realizes that the blade he was stabbed with must have been poisoned. She goes to the room where the grounder is kept tied up, and demands him to tell her if there is an antidote to the poison. The grounder doesn't answer, but Bellamy shows her the vials. Clark deduces that one of them has to be the antidote, but they don't know which one. They again turn to the grounder, who doesn't answer. Bellamy decides he is going to use more painful means of torture, and Octavia objects to it. She turns to Clark and asks her to be the voice of reason, but because Finn's life is in danger, Clark agrees to the torture, and Bellamy commences. On the Ark, Jaha comes clean with the common workers and tells them the truth about everything that has happened. They claim that they can't trust him. He didn't lose anyone, so he can't understand their pain. But Jaha cries and reveals that he lost his son as well. To promote unity, he agrees to offer Abby's vacant council seat to Diana because the common workers trust her. There are signs that perhaps Diana is orchestrating all this on purpose. On the ground, Finn's condition is worsening, and Bellamy is resorting to worse and worse torture techniques. But the grounder is still not revealing which vial contains the antidote. Raven arrives, and in her anger, she electrocutes the grounder to get answers. Octavia is watching all this, horrified. She comes up with an idea. She takes the grounder's blade and cuts herself with it, thinking that the grounder cared for her before, so he will care for her now. Her suspicion is confirmed when the grounder finally points to the antidote to save her life. She thanks him, but when Bellamy tries to touch her, she angrily shakes him off. Finn is given the antidote, and Clark cries at almost having lost him. Next, Clark goes to clean the wounds on the grounder, but he doesn't let her. Octavia arrives, and the grounder allows her to clean the wounds. Clark tells Octavia that she never would have approved this if Finn's life wasn't in danger, but Octavia reminds her that it was eventually she who saved Finn, not Clark. Clark leaves, and then the grounder says, thank you, to Octavia, revealing that he can speak English. Finn wakes up, and Clark tells him that Raven needs him more than her. She leaves the two lovers to spend some time together. Clark and Bellamy lament over the difficult decisions they have to take because they are in charge. On the Ark, Diana is sworn into the council, and Jaha discloses to the entire council that they have a difficult decision ahead of them. Earth is indeed survivable, but the Ark has more than 2,000 people on board and only enough dropships to send 700 to the ground. They were supposed to have more time to fix this issue, but because the timeline has changed unexpectedly due to the oxygen shortage, they are now officially on the Titanic, and there aren't nearly enough lifeboats. The 100 is a television series that first began in 2014, and despite some viewers and critics doubting it after its first few episodes, went on to become a highly successful and well-received show that ran for seven seasons. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also, let us know what movie you would love us to recap for you.